So we're in Lincoln today to show you our latest project. What we're going to do is uh, kind of redo the whole front entryway here. So, you know, your typical pavers that failed over time, uh, we're going to lay some large format granite. We're going to do some of our big slab pieces, uh, as well as some of the plank style that we've started doing. It's about two feet wide. Uh, we're going to keep a similar footprint to what you're seeing here. Uh, you're going to walk in down some more linear planking. We're going to introduce a second stair here to make this transition a little more comfortable while you're walking. It's really steep on this section and it gets really flat right here. So we're going to introduce two stairs, work it in with some associated plantings, boulders. We're not exactly sure how we're doing it yet. That kind of comes as we put it in the ground. One of the advantages of having the designers install it. Um, so. In this section, we're gonna put a really big, large format piece of granite. That's gonna kind of be the direction change, if you will, at this three-way intersection. And we're gonna do some large format as you come into the stairs to really pull you into that front landing there. Uh, we're gonna run a secondary walkway, very similar to the footprint that's here. Uh, we don't wanna disturb this massive oak root any more than has already been disturbed during this initial uh, build over here. And then I'll take you to the backyard. So as you can see, this original, you know, what happens a lot of times along a foundation is uh, on the initial build, the contractors will put in a quick walkway. Um, the foundation settles, all the material around that foundation settles over time. And as you can see, that's definitely what happened here. Big holes, real janky. So this is all gonna get redone. Large format pieces, more planking. Uh, I really like to pull the walkways off the house a little bit. Uh, so we're actually going to pull this this way. We do have some restrictions with a septic system over here, so um, we can't go too far, but we will be, have enough room to get a run of perennials down this edge of the garage here, which will soften the look of the hardscaping a little bit. I'm going to replant some of this in here. In fact, this beautiful old maple. Uh, we're going to get into the root system and see if it's possible to transplant it. If it is, we're going to put it over here a little bit away from the septic. Uh, we're gonna create a nice rock wall down there that I'll show you. Again, large format granite for the transition spaces, such as over here. You can see right here, this is one of those spots where in the walkway that settled pretty drastically. Um, you know, that's no bueno, so we'll fix all that. Get a nice, good solid base underneath. Um, we're actually gonna run this permeable so that all the water settles in and filters into the garden. Um, as, as it comes through. It'll all be set up to, to work with the garden space. Um, as you can see, stair set here doesn't really work. Real short runs of granite, not very functional. So we're gonna revamp that, do kind of our natural boulder stairs throughout this whole area. Maybe give it a little twist or a turn one way or the other. You know, we'll see how it looks as it all goes together. Um, boulder wall down here. So that, that maple will be raised up. It's really nice when you see the branching of a maple, especially when you're down in this beautiful backyard, looking back up. I think it'll be a really nice change. So uh, we'll use some of these patinaed boulders. We'll bring in some new boulders and create a rock ring that kind of elevates that maple up a little bit. Um, then we'll redo some associated plantings through here to kind of enhance the look of that maple in general. Uh, super excited about this one, and uh, we'll show, you to, show it to you when we're done. All right, back in Lincoln, showing you the finish of uh, this project. A lot of large format granite on this one. Uh, pretty happy with how it came out. Might as well show you what we did here. So, nice big entry stone. Uh, that, nice way to give an entry into the, to the space. And then we went smaller planking of granite down. You can see in the jointing of this, we cobbled the edge to give it a little more of a rustic look. I think that looks really nice. Uh, we also used some flowing joint lines in and amongst the linear joints, which I think is a, a really nice way to do it and break up some of that linear feel to the space. Um, nice big transition piece here down the stair set. We decided uh, as we ran some grades and did some measurements that we wanted to go with three stairs here, uh, which makes a much flatter upper walkway. The old one was very pitched and uh, hard to walk in the winter, so we flattened it out there. 
and then came into nice large threshold stone. One of the biggest ones we've used to date is over 12 feet wide coming in. The stone was so big that it actually was bending on our lifter, believe it or not. But that went in really nice, settled nice, nice and flat. And uh, this whole front entry is uh, permeable, so all the water will fall into the joint lines as it, as it rains. And planted accordingly, uh, a lot of plants that like a lot of water right at the edge. Uh, these are stilby, some rhododendron, some Lakothaway, lots of Pachysandra, some beautiful quick fire hydrangea. They look awesome this time of year. So as you can see, secondary walkway comes out, that similar plank style up top. And then what we decided uh, in the build process was um, to do some curbing. Um, we went with some slope curb for this surround of the driveway. What was going on is they were getting a lot of water rushing down the driveway and heavy rain events right towards the garage. Uh, so we swelled it out for them. And now the water flows this way and right out to the backyard, which is a, a big, big change. As we were going through the project, we had some extra material over there. You can see we put together a bench for the kids when they're playing basketball. Um, thought that was a cool little touch that we threw in for these guys. I'll show you the back. We decided to give this nice old birch a bit of a tree well with that curb as well. Um, kind of breaks up the space coming in. Nice big landing stone to this back walkway. Um, we Frenched in a little spot for the hose as well. Um, again, all the edges are treated. We had some extra stones, so we made a nice walking path that is your quick exit from the driveway out to the backyard. Thought that looked pretty cool. Added a stair to even out the transition going in to the garage door. And then spreading out the size of these stones again, we went with two foot planks down the mean body of the walkway, but we Frenched in some funky stones for this landing to just give it that spot to turn either up into the living room or down into the backyard again. And then this is the staircase that we mentioned in the previous video that we were going to revamp. So down here, much, much cleaner look. Um, we added a three stair to a two stair set. Again, a lot of times we'll do landings halfway down. Just makes the walk a lot easier. Um, it's not as much of a ramp of a stair set and when you see it in this direction you'll kind of get a better feel for that planted some lavender and associated perennials around kind of to tie the front yard to the backyard the backyard gets a little bit more sun uh, in late afternoon so we added some plants that work accordingly this is the boulder wall that we had mentioned where we're going to raise up the grade i think it's a nice way to kind of give this maple what it needs um, has a little bit of heat stress right now, but should be coming back pretty nice. And then back up the other side of the walkway. So really excited to get this one wrapped up. Coming back a year later, uh, pretty happy with the results. So we'll see you on the next one.